My name is Anna Jones, and I'm your 2020-2021 Valley Regional Secretary. Out of all the things TSA has helped me do, finding my passion for public speaking is among the greatest. Today we'll be talking about the middle school competition prepared speech, as well as the high school competition prepared presentation, by introducing the idea of the three Ps. The three Ps are practice, prepare, and present. Part of preparation is thoroughly looking through the regulations and instructions for each competition in the rulebook provided by your administrator. Both these competitions are slightly different, but focus on the main idea of public speaking. For the middle school competition, competitors prepare a speech and write it on note cards to deliver. For the high school competition, you also make a speech and write on note cards to assist you, but additionally you prepare a slideshow beforehand to help effectively deliver your speech. Be sure to check out the themes for these competitions on tsaweb.org and pay special attention to the Go No Go list provided in your rules. Hello Valley Region TSA, my name is Lauren Satterwhite, a senior at Turner Ashby High School and I'm serving as your 2020 to 2021 Valley Region Vice President. Practicing your speech is one of the most important parts of these competitions. It's a time for you to polish, edit, and get more familiar with your competition. When practicing for these competitions, I've found that the best thing to do is to practice saying your speech as many times as possible to as many people as possible. For middle school, this means saying your speech to your grandma, your cousin, your siblings, your best friends, and everyone in between. For high school, since you have a shorter time span, say your speech to anyone close by that's willing to listen. The most important thing is to get comfortable with saying your speech in front of people. For high school, make sure you practice with your projection equipment and laptop to make sure everything goes smoothly in the presentation room. If you decide to make a few edits to your speech, try to stick to small, easy to remember changes. If you make large changes, your brain might not be able to recall them when you're presenting to the judges. For middle and high school, practice flipping through your note cards with your speech if you use them. You'd be surprised how easily they can get fumbled around in the moment. And, as always, use the official grading rubric for each competition to check and make sure you're good to go. And always, make sure you check the go, no go specifications so that you don't get disqualified. Presenting what you worked so hard for can be the best or worst part, depending on how you look at it. Some of the most important things I can tell you is to take a deep breath before you start presenting, make eye contact and interact with your audience, and keep your composure. Also, in the high school competition, make sure your slideshow focuses on the main points of what you want to discuss, and that you're not just reading slide after slide. Just remember, you're there for a reason, and that reason is to give a memorable speech. If you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to any of your Valley Regional Officers or Administrators. Thank you so much for listening and good luck throughout TSA this year.